At 38, Elon's running SpaceX and Tesla. He's got five boys, he's going through a very public divorce, and he's got a new fiance. And there are a lot of resource conflicts when you have five kids. At any given point, somebody's taking somebody's toy. What's this game? What's this game? Did you just take, did you just take that from your brother? Yeah, but I didn't see what that is. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> somebody took somebody's toy. Statistically speaking, one out, of the, one out of the five has a good chance of being unhappy at any given point. I don't know how he handles the stress. I mean, if I was him, I'd have died of a heart attack. You would not wish that kind of pain on, on your worst enemy. Elon proposed really quickly. The idea of being swept off your feet is appealing, and um, I'd probably have said yes to anyone that seemed half sensible if they proposed after 10 days, just because it's kind of an interesting thing to do. Um, do that thing, Dad. You know, obviously Dad, moved straight into the house with the children, and it became a very real thing immediately. My parents were traumatized by this whole experience. Although there's been so many times, like, right, I'm getting on a plane to England and I'm never going to see you again. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no. No, not really. No. Sure. So how would you educate your five boys? Actually, I created a little school. <laughs> Yeah. What kind of school? Could you describe to us? Sure. It's, I mean, it's small. It's only got 14 kids now, and it'll have 20 kids in, in September. Um, it's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. That's maybe a bit different from, from, from most other schools, is that there aren't any grades. There's no, there's no like, not grade one, grade two, grade three type of thing. And making all the children go in, in the same grade at the same time, like an assembly line. I know. Um, you know, because some people love English or languages, some people love math, some people love music, mm. and, uh, and they have different abilities at different times. It makes more sense to, to cater the education to match their aptitudes and abilities. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one principle. Um, another is that it's important to teach, uh, teach problem solving, or teach to the problem, not to the tools. Mm -hmm. So this would be like, let's say, um, you're trying to teach people about uh, how engines work. Or, mm -hmm. you know, you could start by, a, tr a, more, a more traditional approach would be to say, well, we're going to teach you all about screwdrivers and wrenches, and, and you're going to have a course on screwdrivers, a course on wrenches, and all these things. And it's, mm -hmm. this is a very difficult way to, to do it. A mm -hmm. much better way would be like, here's the engine. Now mm -hmm. let's take it apart. How are we going to take it apart? Oh, you mm -hmm. need a screwdriver. That's what the screwdriver is for. You need a wrench. That's what the wrench is for. Mm -hmm. um, and then a very important thing happens, which is that the relevance of the tools becomes apparent. So all your five boys are in that school? Yes. Until when? This is from preschool to... So far it's only one year old. <laughs> uh, uh, they like it. They like it? Yeah. And you want to keep them away from regular schools? No, I just didn't see that uh, the re regular schools, just they weren't doing the things that I thought should be done. Like, you know, those two principles, they weren't... Uh, adhering to those principles, so I thought, well, let's see what we can do. Maybe creating a school will be better. And I um, actually hired a teacher from the school they were at mm. who also agreed with me that there was a better way to do it. Have they surprised you in a way of their innovative thinking? Yeah, it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, I mean, the kids really love going to school. I think that's a, a mm. good sign. You know, I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. Um, so. The fact that they, uh, like, they actually think vacations are too long. Mm. Like, they want to go back to school. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs>